Hello everyone and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 for yet another road test and this week is such a good week. Now as you can see I've already gone in, done the 50% required completion to get this McLaren. I know people are struggling to get this at the moment, my playlist has bugged as well at 83%. I know that doesn't sound bad saying oh yeah well you still got this and still got that but it's still bugged so it's not just you and if you can't get it i'm sure they'll release it sometime in the near future as either a footstool shop award or some other award but now i am gonna see what this little baby mclaren is made of because Oh, it's already got some guts. I mean, just... Oh, oh, that's a fence, that's a fence. But, I mean, look, just look at this thing. It is pure supercar to the point where it's setting its own rear wing on fire because the engineers wanted to point the exhausts upwards to give it more downforce. That right there is what I like to call engineering, flawed to perfection. It's where the car isn't perfect, but you love it all the more for it. Let's check the interior whilst we're here. It's a little bit more stripped out, still got the 570S interior, which I adore. It's big, it's bold, it's adaptable, I just crashed. But it's just so wonderful with a red line of just shy of 9,000 RPM while sounding damn good doing it. But anyway, I am uh, going to see what this is made of stock and what it's like when it's got a few upgrades applied. So let's go. So. I have chosen, considering it is quite a racy little thing, I think it needed a bit of a step up from the track that I used for the 718 and the ID01. Oh, Apologies for the accent, I don't know why, it just makes you want to go all Italian. Anyway, we are here and we will see what it can do. Oh, it's under track toys. I wouldn't have thought well i can sort of see it now but when you see it like it's nowhere near as extreme as the gt12 or the bac mono or the caterums or maybe the dodge viper maybe the mustang but certainly you know not porsche grade but oh mclaren's are so, when mclaren came back with the 12c and it was just perfection. Yes, it was flawed. It, it, you know, they focused on all the numbers to beat the 458. And yes, the 458 set fire to itself. But that's why people liked it, because people are attracted to things that are flawed, things not that are perfect. Because the 458 trounced the 12C. But I will say, I would rather have the 458 because it was beautiful. But McLaren now, they've got so many weird foibles of like keys being lost and the headlights not working and rear wings setting themselves on fire and the engines burning to a crisp and other things happening which they don't really like me saying so I'm going to shut up before someone comes and stops me. But anyway, let's see what we can do enough rambling about. Okay, I'm instantly feeling a. Uh, I'm instantly feeling scared because that Lotus is a beast. Although I just took two people in that one corner. Now it's finding its grip. You know the 570S is very fast. Don't get me wrong, but it's very spongy. So that if anyone made a mistake, you could pull it back into line a bit easier. But this, it is twitchier. But if you feed it the right amount of throttle, 
with the right amount of hair. Oh, unlike that, it will perform. And the faster you go with those rear exhausts in the rear wing, which is dope AF, it really performs. Let's see if we can actually win this thing for the pride of Britain. I did Germany. I've done Italy. It's now Britain's chance and it's trying to kill me. It had to be an Aston, didn't it? It had to be an Aston Martin. At least that thing's got a real dashboard, not a circle with a screen, which is stupid. Take it all the way up to the red line. Come on. Come on, McLaren. One thing about this is it sounds like you're going a million miles an hour and really you're only going 20. Oh, I did sort of bully that AI, but let's be real, it's an AI. Everyone hates them in this game because they cheat, they rubber band, they come from nowhere, they teleport, and then they try to murder you in, with invisible force fields. For something that is predominantly rear wheel drive, you know, because of the sheer power of the thing, it grips up so well. I mean, don't be wrong, if you wanted to have a bit of fun, you could have fun in this thing. But, oh, I've just noticed there's a brake light in the rear thing, that is dope! But, as I was saying, this thing has so much grip when you actually get it going and if you treat it right it will perform like that oh i like this car 55.3 that is not bad let's see what other people can do it's nearly top of s1 class already i didn't notice that before see what other people have done 56 57 58 well they're lower 59 Ooh. Uh, what's close at the BAC? That did a 58. Well, mind you, they have short gear ratios because they're more for corners. Ooh. Ooh, I like this car so much. So much. But anyway, enough of seeing what it's like as a vanilla. Let's go and make it the chicken teriyaki version. Okay, I sort of want to make it the top of S2. I, d I don't really want to go past that, but let's see if there's any uh, good upgrades. Please. Oh, regular Forza Aero at the front. And a horrible worry. Where's the roof scoop? Where is that roof scoop? Please, give, just give me a roof scoop. You give me this incredible looking piece of machinery with no roof scoop. Disappointed, let's see what you can do. Obviously there's the conversion to make it four wheel drive, which I will be doing because, well, we're gonna go max attack. There's no point being boring. Let's see what we've got. We've got the regular engine, We've got a 5.2 V10, even though that goes down two points, but goes up. Strange. Uh, we've got the racing V12 and the 6.1 litre V12. Where's that from? I think that's the McLaren F1 engine. I'm not so entirely sure, but I think it is anyway. I'm going to keep it the stock engine, but I am going to make it all-wheel drive because... That will kill some of the tail happiness to make it a true track beast. Tyres. It was already on racing. Now I'm worried because it was sliding out with racing. Okay, let's give it track width. 
boink, and boink, do that. Weight reduction, 121 kilos. That's that's quite a lot for already a stripped out thing like this. Right, so after full upgrades, we can't even get it to the top of S2. It only goes up about 60 PI points, and that's all with all the drive. But I have kept the stock engine, so, you know, there's debate there. Anyway, I have increased the horsepower to 921. One and a third tons, quite a bit of torque up to four liters from 3.9, which ain't that much. Uh, more weight to the rear, but considering the engine's there, that's not bad. Let's see if we can get a uh, good design for this. See if anyone's made any yet. So let's look at it. Now. I've got this awesome paint job. I can't remember who it's by. I'll link it down below. Let's see the end. Oh, it don't come up. It's a full removal. That's brave. Still looks dope. A F doors are still incredibly ludicrous. And a boot that you could actually store a medium size orange in. And I've cut the original wheels because why wouldn't you have black wheels? This black on blue with that hint of orange popping through the source of the golf colors but i don't know it's like a hallmark back to the 570s with the modern side of this bin's coming through oh my god it doesn't pull as hard as what i thought i thought it would be like a face ripped off monster muncher but it's actually quite delicate so we'll see what it can do at the same racetrack. Actually, I've just forgot to tune my gears. Ah, that's why. I've just noticed. Um... I think my game is cursed. Oh, who cares? I was cursed from birth. That makes nothing new. Boink! Oh, just to think. Oh, I already see Vipers and... Uh, is that Camaro? No one wants you here, Bumblebee! Anyway, let's see what we've got. We've got a Viper 08. Oh, that's good. Uh, BAC Mono. Yet again, a massive steroid boost. Oh, we've got a GT2 RS here now. We've got a KTM Crossbow. Don't know why we've got a Mustang. Lotus 211, Lotus 311, another GT2 RS and a Viper ACR. Oh, I am boned. But, apart from a few, we actually are quite level. So, let's see what we can do. Okay. Uh, there is zero wheel spin now. It takes off like catapulted dart with a lot of understeer now. That BAC Mono now with upgrade. It's now got the speed to match the cornering. Oh, he's running away. But I do believe I do have more straight line. And about a third of this track is that, so it'll help. Come on, come on, real. Real. Oh, oh, the Viper's going for a move. The Viper's got past and... Oh, no, no. 
Know your place, BAC. I know 10 years ago you were at the same place as McLaren as a washed up shed company in the back of Dorset somewhere. But McLaren has grown up a hell of a lot. And you're no longer in the same league. And I'm racing a car that is now officially extinct. Because for those of you who didn't know, Dodge has officially uh, axed the Viper. It is no more. No more are being made. So the SRT will be the last of its kind. Not the one that I'm racing, the more current gen, the 16, I believe. Which is incredibly sad because it's an American icon. Which I just passed with the future. I'm going to switch to interior mode for the full race view. Oh my god, it's so much quieter in here. I love the steering positions of McLarens. They're so focused where they give you all the tools to be a good driver and it's literally saying, drive me, race me, which I am doing. He's gone and across the line in that stunning blue. God, I want a blue. 52.4, nearly three seconds quicker than before. Which is not that much considering the PI points. Look at it. Oh. I love this thing from the butterfly brakes and they do look like butterfly wings if you don't know what a butterfly is go outside but finish watching this video first please please thank you you know it's got so many subtle aero bits but it's just so it's not restrained but it's not outlandish either like the zero uno that thing is ridiculous for everyday life but you know say well okay they just disappeared but you know you can chuck this thing in a low rev range and just chill and it's no more noisy than the wind going over the roof i will say though for this to be a perfect 10 out of 10 i would have loved a roof scoop that would have that would have made it but anyway though that is unfortunately the end of this episode if you liked it go ahead and hit that subscribe button and smash the like button turn on post notifications if you want to see more videos like this where i test out random cars and new cars that get added so that you can see what they work best for or even send me ideas on what to use the new cars for like if you ow if you see a new hyper car that's good at drifting i'll do that just send me ideas if you have a challenge idea leave a comment down in the comments down below and who knows they could be made they might they might not but until next time i thank you all very much for watching and good night Oh, that backfire.